Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this session. My name is Victor Walzer. I'm a technical leader at Adobe. And today I'm going to talk about five essential insights of why we are running Cilium as a CNI for a multi-tenant Kubernetes-based architecture. Here's about me. I'm a part of the developer productivity organization at Adobe, which strives to help our customers, the developers, to write better software even faster. I'm one of the organizers of uh, KCD Romania, which will be the first in-person KCD event in the southeast of Europe, and which is going to happen next month. At Adobe, developers run their applications on a runtime platform named Ethos, which is a multi-tenant Kubernetes-based platform. In terms of scalability, the platform operates at three main cloud providers and hosts more than one million pods, which are running in 42,000 Kubernetes namespaces, namespaces which are owned by application development teams. The multi-tenancy approach at Adobe is very simple. We are using multi-tenancy architecture as a way to share multiple physical clusters with multiple teams from different organizations and different projects. And we rely on Kubernetes namespaces and a couple of Kubernetes primitives in order to provide a minimum isolation within the cluster. For this, we are using the concept of namespace profile template, which is made of few Kubernetes objects, such as Kubernetes namespace, role binding, quota, limit range, network policies, and Cilium network policies. And the reason that we are using Cilium network policies is because by default, we need some DNS-based policies and other layer seven policies. But let's see why we choose Cilium as a CNI for this multi-tenant platform. We are running millions of pods, and um, every time there is an issue with an application, the first thing that is blamed by the tenants is networking, yes. But it's all, always the networking? For the most cases, no. From my experience doing on-call on, on the platform, when someone has an application issue like uh, network latency, it's actually because of the CPU throttling. But you must have a reliable CNI because um, networking is one of the most important aspects of running applications on Kubernetes. We can build the best app in the world with the best features, but if it's not connected to the internet, it doesn't exist. When any team is onboarded to Ethos platform, they often ask, hey guys, we need to handle million or billion of requests. Is your networking fast enough? And the answer is yes, because Cilium does a great job in terms of performance by leveraging eBPF and because we don't need any more kube proxy with thousands of IP tables rules. Another common question that we receive is, uh, what if my neighbor in the same cluster is compromised? Here, I would like to mention that Ethos platform is CCF certified. CCF stands for Common Controls Framework which is an open foundational framework of security processes developed by Adobe. And it helps us to comply with a number of industry best practices, standards, regulations, and certifications. So network security is also an important aspect in multi-tenancy. We are using Cilium to implement the network isolation from layer three to layer seven protocols, selective policies to enable east-west communication, and XDP filtering of embargoed country IPs. But sometimes a connection between two applications doesn't work at all. And then it's ask, why are my connections not working? The answer is Hubble Observe. Hubble is a great observability tool for debugging your application's networking. And you can see very easy what is actually blocking your connections. But what if the tenants have other questions? Where should they go? The answer is very simple. Cilium is an open source CNI with a great community around it. So if you have any questions or issues, you can always ask the community on GitHub, on Slack, or at the conferences. Thank you so much. <laughs>